Hello little buns, it is Steph, welcome back to my home. I have a makeup tutorial for you today for the first time in probably like since October, I think. I don't consider myself a beauty YouTuber, but I do love doing makeup and it's been a very long time since I've made something like this. So I'm really excited. I was thinking a lot about my makeup in high school and in college especially, and I was like, how could I make that at the skill level that I have now? So I decided to recreate something I used to wear a lot, and it's very, it's kind of, it's very glamorous in terms of the shapes, but it's very grungy in terms of the actual product, like the, the way that it's applied. So um, I like the juxtaposition, and I really hope you like it too. If you want to see how I did this look, just keep on watching. I've already completed my foundation. I started with uh, the Clarins Primer, the Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch Primer. I love this. It's really great for kind of evening out the texture of your skin. And then for foundation, I use a shade way too off for me, but that's okay. I forgive myself. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I love the texture. And the coverage of this, but this color is really wrong for me. But that's okay, because I'm like, literally I have two pumps left and I can get a new one in a few days, so it's okay. We're gonna use it anyway. For concealer, I'm going to use my Lise Watier Concealer Portfolio. This is an amazing concealer wheel. Got lots of colors. The one that I'm gonna use though is this lavender one down here. I'm using it on my beauty blender, the same one I used for my foundation, and I'm gonna put it under my eye. And I love this because it's literally like, like a mirror. It bounces light off like a mirror. It's incredible. It makes everything look perfect. So I just apply like a nice hefty amount right below my eye and then I blend it out from there. So while I'm blending this, I'm, I'm bringing it quite far. A little bit with this goes a long way. So I pretty much blended it all the way out to here and I'm gonna bring it up in the front of my eye as well. Later when I apply my contour and bronzer and stuff, if this is anywhere where it shouldn't be, it tends to look normal anyway. So I just blend it out in a circle, pretty much. I like to bring it over my nose, too, because later when I put the contour on, it'll already be highlighted, so it'll look a little bit more dynamic, you know what I mean? I'm also blending it kind of up into the middle of my forehead to help give my forehead a more round shape as well, so I'm highlighting my forehead at the same time as I'm doing my under eye concealer. Very multi-porpoise. Multi-porpoise, there's so many porpoises. Too many porpoises, get these porpoises away from me. I, I'm allergic to porpoises. What's a porpoise again? Isn't it like some kind of amphibian? What is a porpoise? Is it a dolphin? What's a porpoise? Is it a Justin Bieber album? I don't know. Now to set my under eyes, I'm gonna be using my Derma Blend uh, Loose Setting Powder. I love this. I think there are multiple shades as well, so if you happen to have a shade of skin that white powder looks bad on, then there should be a powder that works for your skin as well. I love it because it's really, Oh, what's the word? It's very gentle. It's very lightweight. I don't feel like I'm caking on my makeup when I when I set with it or when I um, bake with it. It just makes everything feel and look really lightweight. Love that. Like a feather. I usually set my nose and my upper lip with the same powder and the center of my forehead. And then to assist with my cheek contour, I also like to apply it right underneath of my cheekbone, right along my jaw, right there, you know? This helps define that even more, so when I go back later with contour, it's gonna look even more beautiful! <laughs> For the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Stila, um, Stila powder, I don't know, the Stila illuminating powder. This is in the shade uh, 40, I think, 40cc. I'm not sure exactly what number, like what letters they use, but it's 40 something, okay? Um, and I tend to avoid the intense parts of where I've baked or where I've put the, in the, you know, thick powder and just apply this everywhere else. Later, of course, I'm going to blend away the baking powder, the baking powder, like I'm using it to make bread or something. You know, you know. I'm going to leave most of that powder alone now. Now I'm going to use my Smashbox Contour Kit, which is mostly depleted, but the contour shade lasts a long time for me for some reason. I'm using it on like a very angled contour brush, very standard contour brush. And just gonna find the contour. I like to establish the area with the sideways motion, and then I like to blend it upwards because I find that gives it a much rounder looking appearance. So instead of just going like this, I like to establish the line and then blend it upwards like this. And I think that just looks nice. On most fair to light to medium skin tones, you'll want to use something more taupey than bronze um, to do your contouring. You can do the bronzer. It's just a different look that I am not aiming for. I'm gonna do the jaw as well, just like to soften the edge of my face. Now this isn't really a highlight, but I like to use a matte 
light shade to contrast my contours and to sort of tighten them, if you know what I mean. So you can tell this is a lot, like this is a lot of contour. So what I like to do is, I'm using actually a really pale eyeshadow from the Naked 3 palette. No, not Naked 3, sorry, this is Naked Smoky. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow 13. I like to use it on a small kind of eyeshadow brush and I like to help redefine any contours I've made. So it almost looks like drag until you blend it after. This is very similar to baking. I'm basically retracing where I put that powder earlier, right? I do the same thing to my nose and this really helps to bring it in. I like to go diagonally like that, which softens that line right up. There we go. And then right down the center. It just sharpens things out a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I like to use a bronzer. This is my Lise Watier Havana bronzer. I love this one for me. I like to go right across the center of my face. I like to overuse bronzer a lot. I'm on camera a lot, like, because this is YouTube. You know, it's my job. And um, if I don't use excessive bronzer, I usually look really pale, which isn't a problem, but I don't like to look really pale because I... I'm not really pale. I like to bring my bronzer quite heavy throughout the middle of my face and then along my jawline. This also helps to soften the contours and the contrast a little bit more. I tend to avoid the middle of my forehead with this and I tend to stay above my eyebrows because I want this area to look really wide, okay? But I'm just kind of rounding my forehead out by creating this kind of glowy halo effect around that delicate highlight in the center just makes things look a little bit nicer. Now, but one more thing before I blend everything together. I'm using a blush. This is a MAC blush in the color um, um, uh, Make You Mine. How cute, how cute is that? I like to brush this right along the top of my cheekbone, basically underneath of where I'm gonna be putting my highlighter. Middle of the nose, on the upper lip I like to bring it so it looks a little bit more natural, on my chin, and along my forehead. I don't apply a lot of it through the middle of my face, um, but I do use more than most people do, so that's a fun fact. Now we've applied all of our complexion products. I like to blend it all together using the Kabuki brush that I used to apply my, my full face powder earlier. And I don't apply any more powder, but I just go over top of everything. And it really helps to soften edges, keep things looking natural, reduce anything that's too heavy. Like that, wow. At this point, I like to reapply my lip moisturizer. I've been using a lip oil from Clarins. I love this stuff. It keeps my lips moist, but it's not overpowering to the point where it's dry without it. It's really beautiful. Before I go and do my eye makeup, I wanna do some highlighter. This is my favorite highlight palette I've ever used. It's just shiny highlighters. It's not like a contour set, like a Kat Von D or a Smashbox kit. This is the Starlight Star Bright holiday kind of collection, Stila highlight, whatever, you know what I mean? I like to use the bronze one on my bronzer brush in the same place I use the bronzer on my cheeks, so right across. It just helps keep things really warm and toasty there. And I tend to avoid my nose with the bronze one because it's a little bit dark for me to be using as a highlighter by itself, but I can dance it around anywhere else, you know? And then I like to use the peachy one in the middle along my cheekbones, or cheeks rather, not really the bones, more the apple. I love highlighting the apple more than anything. And then I like to use it really, really a small tiny amount on my finger. I'm gonna put this brush down, right down the center of my nose. Just a little bit, nothing intense. And I like to just blend that up and down. And then right on the tip. But I'm not pulling it straight down the whole nose because that like elongates the nose. So I'm putting it right in the middle of the nose, leaving a gap here and then putting it right on the tip. So it creates a more upturned effect. Real cute, real cute, thanks. Here's where things get real high school. I'm going to apply my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the original formula. Just wanna keep that shit in place. I'm going to be using mostly the Naked Smoky palette for this, the same one that I got that contrast shade from. I'm gonna start with that actually as the contrast shade. Applying that right below my brow and pretty much anywhere above the crease just so that when we go in with colors later, it'll blend a bit easier. Before we do the lid, I'm gonna use a transition shade. So I'm gonna go into Password right here and mix it with a bit of Combust. So instead of being a dark gray, it's gonna be more of a mauve color. And I'm just gonna sweep that right through the crease, not really above. And I'm not worrying if it gets on the lid a little bit because we're gonna be going with something else later. So right through the crease, a bit of Password and Combust. 
fluffy blending that shit. Sometimes I bring it into the nose contour a little bit. You don't have to do that. I'm gonna take Password by itself now, just the dark gray eyeshadow, and blend it gently along my lower lash line. I'm not, again, worrying too much about it being perfect or precise, because this is kind of a grungy look after all. You know what I'm saying? Sticking with that fluffy blending brush, I'm going into Whiskey now, which is a dark brown shadow right here. It's very, very warm, not like a cool brown, a very chocolatey brown. I'm just dabbing that on the lid, and then I'm going to blend out from there. I want a very pigmented um, brown for the lid. Blending it right into that transition shade made of the other two shadows to keep it nice and soft. Very smoky, smoking them all AO AO, you know what I mean? Before we do the eyeliner, I want us to just jump into this Ben Nye Rouge powder. Is it Rouge? Just, oh no, sorry, Flame Red. What was I thinking about? I'm just using it on a very kind of like a very fat domed brush and gently applying that along my lower lash line. I want more of a wash than an intense red color. And I'm using my finger just to soften it because I really want the red to be implied, not explicit, you know what I'm saying? The first thing I wanna do for eyeliner is use a waterline pencil. This is the Urban Decay Waterline Pencil. It's waterproof, sits really nicely on the waterline. We're gonna line the entire eye, including the, um, the rim on the top, what's that called? Tight lining, God bless. Feel free to be a little bit sloppy because we're gonna be going in with a dark shadow later and smoking it out really nice. Okay, once you have that on your lower lash line, you can use whatever you want. No, I'm gonna be using Whiskey and Black Market kind of mixed together. Black Market's not quite a carbon, it's not like a dark black, it's more of a deep gray. Anyway, I'm just going right along my lower lash line, blending it right into my eye, my eyeliner and keeping that line nice and soft, smoking them all, and I am going right up to my inner corner because we're going to be using a liquid liner there later to redefine and manipulate our eye shape, so don't be afraid that you're going to mess up a line or something. Just apply that until you've got smoky eyes. Now I'm going to do my favorite thing in the world, which is apply a liquid liner with a nice cat eye. I like to start in the middle of my lid, going in short strokes. I don't like doing a full line at once because that really can mess you up. You wanna get real and close and comfy, okay? Before I do the outer wing, I'm gonna do the inner wing, the inner cat eye. I love doing this, it's my favorite. I like to angle it more down than in, which is actually great for a lot of people that have more close set eyes. Mine are wide set, so like if yours are like mine and they're wide set, you can try to do a more angular one, but I like to go more down. So really, it's up to you. Live your life, make your own choices. And an outer wing. So we've really transformed the shape of our eye now. That's why I love doing this. I don't have a problem with my natural eye shape, I just think this is really severe and badass, so fight me. For brows, I'm just gonna brush through my brows, get rid of any makeup that's already in them. Sometimes, you know, when you do foundation or something, it gets all caught up in your little hairy hair hairs. And we don't want that, so fuck them. I'm gonna be using the Whiskey eyeshadow for my brows. Do whatever you want, you know, be your own person, change the world. I was using a kind of like a dark blonde brow pencil until really recently when I like ran out and forgot to buy more, so. I've been doing this lately, which is a lot darker, but I love it. It's just a nice, um, nice change. It's really dramatic, it's very intense. And I haven't been doing that a lot lately, so it's nice to just, you know, go back and do it once in a while. Okay, with that done, I'm gonna play with a little bit of glitter. This is a Stila product. This is the Stila Molten Midnight Glitter Eyeshadow Liquid or something. Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is, again, Molten Midnight, so it's like a blackish glitter. So if you get it by itself, it's like that. It's really quite beautiful. What I'm gonna do with this is just, I'm gonna get a little bit on my finger. 
like so. Now I'm just gonna dab it on my lid. You can apply this by itself and it quite literally looks like you painted your face with paint. It's amazing. Um, but I don't want a thick, thick, thick look. I just want it to be gentle. And I'm just gonna go back and fix my eyeliner up a little bit because um, I would have done that first if I planned on doing it, but I improvised that. So such is life. C'est la vie. For lashes, I've been using these a lot lately. These are the Quo lashes, the Shoppers Drug Mart brand. So if you're in the States, you can't really find these in stores. These are the uh, 806s. They're called the Elegant Lashes, or Glamour, sorry. Um, and they're just kind of like really wispy, very wispy, very layered looking. I love them. For mascara, I'm using the Dior Show mascara. It smells like dill pickles. I don't think it's expired. I think it just smells like dill pickles. Remember always to let your lash glue get tacky before you apply the lash to your face. Otherwise, it will not stay in place. Really important. Really important, guys. Listen to your mom. Me. Now, for the lips, I've already applied one layer of what I want to wear, but I'm to stick with the grungy premise because the lashes and the liner can sometimes make things look a little bit more glamorous than edgy or grungy. Um, instead of doing like a full lip, I'm gonna just do a light coat of a glitter, a lip glitter on top. So this is an interesting product. Not every brand makes products like this. Again, from Stila, my favorite company for anything that dries, anything that's liquid to matte or liquid to dry, love Stila for that. Um, this is from the Holiday Collection again. It's the Glitterati Lip Top Coat in the color Transcend. So I just applied one layer. It's dry right now, sort of. I put it on top of my lip moisturizer, which is fine, um, but it won't ever get super, super dry that way, but that's okay, whatever. And I'm just gonna apply a second coat. And again, um, without um, another matte or full coat of lipstick underneath, this looks very kind of it looks grungier because it doesn't have that you know full bold lip glamour or whatever it looks kind of like a little girl's lip gloss like a six-year-old girl lip gloss and i love that love that concept and i'm gonna go get dressed now okay we went back and that should be everything don't forget to apply a hefty amount of setting spray. Drink it. This is the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. I love it. It actually really does give a nice glow to the skin and I'm all about that glow. You see? So um, I kind of love this like kind of lazy updo thing with this kind of makeup but you can also let your hair down. Girl, let your hair down. Put the records on. Play your favorite song and you can look like this too. Whatever you feel best doing. Live your best life. Do you do you, you know? Do whatever you want. Be a slut. Do whatever you want. I really hope you enjoyed this look. Until next time, please just remember you are a badass. Okay? And you can rock this if you want to. And you can rock whatever you want. If you feel good in something, you're rocking it. Okay? Doesn't matter what everybody else says. I love you so much. Oh my god. See you later. Peace out. Bye. It's kind of hard to like do my regular kisses because I'm sitting on the ground. Just so you know, I'm sacrificing a lot for you right now.